How you guys doing? It's Rob over here. Um, doing another haul video. I went over there today to uh, Savers, or some people have Value Village. I believe they're the same store. I don't know if they do national sales where, where every store is doing a sale on the same day. But they were doing 50% off. So, <clears throat> you gotta go. Uh, anyway, I um, there were some items I had seen during the week that I passed on that, you know, I says, oh, you know what, if it's there... Then I'll pick it up. Okay. So anyway, let me show you what I got. This here, sometimes they make a mistake. See, it says $9.95 blazer. This is actually a complete suit. But sometimes they pick up on that. Sometimes they don't. Um, where they'll just say, oh, it's a mistake. But sometimes, you know, the cashiers, they don't care. So they'll just give it to you. So I took it. So this was only $5. This is a this is a custom designer in, in California, Rockies. I usually don't pick up custom. Some custom designers that are well known do well. Um, some don't, a lot don't. But uh, you know, for five bucks, you know, and this one was really nice too. It has like a gleam, like almost like a shark skin, with the, with this beautiful lining. So, I couldn't pass on that. Five bucks. This this here's another one. Remember everything here is half price, so this is like three bucks. This is a today's man. But it was made in Italy. And it has uh you know it's a hundred percent cashmere. I didn't notice any holes or anything. I don't know if you can see this. So, you know, for two dollars. It's like bins prices. This here was pretty cool. I had seen this during the week, but it was 13 bucks. So I said, yeah, if it's here at the end of the week, I'll pick it up. This is Scotch and Soda. It's a decent brand. It's pretty hip. This here is... This is a Ralph Lauren. Uh, the green label. You know, I usually don't pop for this one too much, but... Um, but it looked decent. You know, it has a tiny little hole here. But it's a tweed, so tweed does pretty well. Ralph Lauren and tweed, and it had the the elbow patches like this. That's a selling point, and and the buttons. Do so that's a decent selling point. This is here is another one that Rockies. This is a beautiful jacket. Um. I you know I had noticed this kind of material here, this uh, Marzoni. Um, maker on this material so usually sometimes if you don't know the designer if you, if you see some of the better um, you know material you know uh, Tetsudo is the is the material so sometimes if you see the better uh, um, brands of cloth usually you can find better like if it's Xenia or um, Lotto Piana now this was three dress shirts I had seen there during the week that uh, I was gonna pass on because they were eight fifty. This is a good brand. This is Turnbull Asser, but you know they weren't mint, 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 and they had they have the uh, the which we'll call it the uh, I can't even think. Um, it's the same guy HSP. Whoever this guy is. This guy, he donated, I guess he donated the whole thing. Monogram, that's what we call it. But there was three, if I'm going to try to lot them up. Sometimes you find people who don't care. So if I'm finding three, I'll lot them up. You know, I only pay four a piece. This is pretty plain. I had seen this during the week. It's a Brooks Brothers cable knit. This does well with these buttons. This here is a Harley Davidson. This was twelve ninety nine. I'd seen this during the week, but then decided to pick this up because uh, it had a nice, cool embroidery on the back, just like this. I thought this was really cool. So it was twelve dollars, and then now it's six. So at that price, uh, I found this really nice. I don't know if I can zoom out, but this is a very heavy duty. This is. It's a decent brand. I mean, it used to be better, well, more well known in the '90s. Mark, it was Andrew Mark. 
and uh, 20. That's one thing I do too. When I go there, I look at the whenever they have 50% off days, you, you want to go for the bigger items, the heavier items, because obviously that's what's discounted much heavier. You know, the outerwear, the suits, big, you know, big items. I don't want to go for the, uh, you know, the t shirts, obviously, because they're usually only one or two ninety nine anyway. So here, I don't know how well you can see this. I'm gonna try to go. This is nice, very heavy duty. Now I found this is something I found that was I cannot believe was there. I don't know if it was put out in the morning or put out the night before. This here. All right. I saw this right away. I saw this leather. And this red, white, and blue striped. And then I looked under here. Oh, I can't see. Well, it's made by Shot. I'm sure every people who know Shot, S C H O T T. If you can't see it in here, I want to show you the, the label so you can see. It's called Perfecto by uh, Shot Brothers. This was $24.99 with the, fi I would have been more than happy to pay the $24.99, but it's with the 50% uh, off. Uh, the only, it, it's absolutely mint, this jacket. The only issue is, I guess there's supposed to be some type of lining. I guess maybe the guy wasn't wearing it with the lining, or maybe he took the line. I, I don't know, maybe the lining was damaged. You know, I don't know. But I still obviously was not gonna pass on this. Um, I didn't even realize when I looked it up on eBay, I, I mean, I, I didn't even, I looked it up in the car, I, I mean, after I bought it, because I knew it was worth good money, and, uh, nice black, have very heavy duty, I looked it up in the car, and I didn't, you know, I put Perfecto, shot, you know, leather motorcycle jacket, and I had forgotten, this is the same jacket, I don't I don't know if it was made after the movie. The Easy Rider. I don't know if it, if this jacket was inspired by the movie or if this is the, the the jacket that was made. I mean, that movie was in '69. You know, I don't know if that's this old. I don't know if this is just a model that they that they had continually made. You know what? I I don't know to be honest. But it is very similar. The one that. Uh, I think his name is Peter Fonda, that he wears in the movie. Uh, I think it just has something on the back. That's the only difference. But it has the stripes on the arm and the stripes going down like this. I seen one just sold at auction, sold for two hundred bucks. You know, and that's at auction. You know, usually you can get a little bit more. But I'd be very happy if I got you know, even without the lining, if I still got one fifty, one seventy five, uh, as a buy it now, I'd be very happy because the ja the jacket's like mint. I mean, when you look at it, it's really, I quit, you know, and usually jackets like this, you know, you're going to find some kind of rip, but it's very heavy duty. I mean, you know, this is the real deal, but I, I don't know exactly when it was made, but it's always a good brand to pick up. All right. Thank you very much and have a nice day.